All right, all about the system configuration dialog. We know that's the last resort here when our device router or switch is looking for a valid startup configuration file. Looked in NVRAM, couldn't find one. Looked for TFTP server, maybe we didn't configure that. So now we're at system configuration dialog. Now the switch that we're working with here didn't have a startup config file because I erased it from NVRAM before I reloaded the switch. So what's it gonna do finally? Cover your eyes, because I think this question's gonna be up here about 30 times. Yes, here it is. I will go up to the top and show you that it's gonna tell you after giving you some hardware information here, that kind of thing, you're going to get the phrase press return to get started. And you may see a bunch of interface related messages after that. You know, if you do, that's perfectly fine. Here's the prompt for the system configuration dialog. And I'm gonna try just to put a couple here because I realize it's pretty annoying when the whole screen is that way. Would you like to enter the initial configuration dialog, yes or no? Well, this is a prompt to try to get us into setup mode, which is a way of setting up the switch to uh, via a series of questions, a lot of questions as we're gonna see. Um, we could go to the command line and just configure it from there which I have a feeling is probably what we're gonna end up doing, but I want you to see this, and I also want you to know how to get out of it if you want to. First off, you can't get out of answering this question because in the brackets you can see when we're given a question on a Cisco device and there's one answer in the brackets, that's the default answer, you can hit enter and accept that answer. Here, we're given a choice, so we've got to enter something. And if you just keep hitting enter or escape or caps lock or whatever you want to, uh, it's either not going to do anything or in the case of enter, which I'm going to do again here, it's going to say, please answer yes or no. You know, would you like to enter the initial configuration dialog? And I could have just hit Y, would have been fine, but I entered yes, hit enter. And now we are in the initial configuration dialog. Well, it sounds like fun, right? Ooh, we're going to have a dialog. Well, let's see how this goes. Got a couple of sentences there at the top about default settings and square brackets, etc. And now it's telling me basic management setup configures only enough connectivity for management of the system. While extended setup will ask you to configure each interface on the system. Okay, so what do I do now? I'm going to go for basic management setup. Would I like to enter that? By golly, yes I would. So the first thing it does is just ask for a host name. We definitely want to put one of those on. And you can see in the brackets, the default is switch. We'll go with SW1 here. And now I'm being prompted for an enable secret, which I realize we haven't covered yet. We're covering, I believe, on the very next video, actually. Uh, you can see a little bit about it here. It's a password that's going to be used to protect access to a couple of modes. And after entered, becomes encrypted in the configuration. That sounds good. But what if I don't want to set one of these yet? Well, escape doesn't do anything. Um, let me hit enter. Ah, no defaulting allowed. And you know, you can hit enter 500 times and that sentence is not gonna change. <laughs> it's just gonna keep saying no defaulting allowed. So I have to enter one even if I don't want to. So I'm going to use CCNA uppercase. And now I'm being prompted for an enable password, which sounds an awful lot like an enable secret. And it's saying it's used when you don't specify an enable secret password, which they wouldn't allow me to do. And with some older software versions and some boot images. Sounds like backwards compatibility to me, or backward compatibility, I should say. So maybe I don't want to put in an enable password. I'm happy with my enable secret. I can't get around this either. So at this point, I may be getting a tad frustrated. So I'll just put CCNA in for that one and fool it. And I'm told I have to choose a password that's different from the enable secret. So I will put CSENT. Now I'm being asked for a virtual terminal password to protect access to the router over a network interface. Hmm. What if I don't know what that is? Well, if you don't know what that is, we're going to fix that. But right now, uh, okay, I'll put CCNP for that. And do I want to configure SNMP Network Management? Of course, it's SNMP. No, I don't want to do that. Well, here's my current interface summary and all this stuff. And you know what? I'd really like to just get out of here right now. Uh, you know, I, I don't want to answer any more questions. I don't want to see a summary, anything like that. I just want to get out of this. I want to go to the command line and I want to configure the switch the way that I'm used to doing. How do I do that? 
Well, I can hit escape and it's not doing anything except prompting me for the next question to put in an interface name used to connect the management network from the above interface summary. Oh my gosh, <laughs> or really, what can I do? Uh, well, I can't default, you cannot default and you cannot escape, or can you? There is a way to get out of this and I'm still surprised to this day how many people don't know how to get out of this. There was a clue earlier. Did you see it? Actually, it wasn't even a clue. It was telling you how to do it. And it was way up here in the very beginning, right here. Use Control C to abort configuration dialog at any prompt. If you hit Control C, it's going to kick you out of here. I hope. Let's do Control C. And let's see, am I getting out? Hmm, okay. Well, let's put VLAN 1 here. Ah, there we go. So it has actually created a command script. Let's go to the bottom and here's what you want to do because we went actually too far to escape it. So now we either want to go to the iOS command prompt without saving the config, return back to the setup without saving this config, or save this config to nvram and exit. So what I will do with that prompt is hit zero because I want to go back to the iOS command prompt and there I am. And if for some reason you want to go back to setup mode, you can actually do what the screen says. You can't type it here, I believe. You have to go into setup into enable mode. You can go right back into the configuration dialog if that's the way you want to get out. Now, if you wanted to escape, say at this point or an earlier point to do control C, this is what it's going to look like. It's just going to kick you right back out to the prompt. And if you've made changes, it's going to give you a little message that says, you know, configuration changes weren't saved. Good luck. And that's all there is to it. That's setup mode. So again, I'm glad we got to see that because that's actually pretty rare. When you get to the end of it, you've got to choose whether you still can get out of it without saving the config. Just hit zero. Or you can return back to setup without saving this config or you can save the config to nvram and exit. So you can even stay in setup mode if you want to without saving the config by hitting one there. But generally what you're gonna to do to get out of it is what I did right here and just use control C to abort it at any prompt. We had already gone past all the prompts, so that was that. So a couple of different ways to get out of setup mode there without saving the config. One while you're putting it together and one at the end of it. And about those passwords, we are going to do the enable password and enable secret thing, and that is coming up next.